I'm Elise Strawn and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction where today we are cake popping trolls. To make your troll cake pops you're going to need white candy melts or melted white chocolate. I'm using chocolate cake pop dough, I'll link to the recipe down below. You'll need oil based food colouring. I've got pink and blue, black candy melts, M&Ms, Hershey's Kisses, snap seal bags, some toothpicks, and of course, cake pop sticks. I like to dress my cake pops up with decorative straws, so I'm gonna use some of those. And if you do want an optional extra here that makes the hair a little bit easier and a bit more troll-like, try some cotton candy or fairy floss. To make your cake pop dough, you wanna take crumbled chocolate cake, and I like to use ganache, which is essentially a mixture of cream and chocolate. Add the two together and then mix them through, kneading until you get basically a really delicious truffly chocolate dough. Let that chill in the fridge for about 30 minutes before you try to use it. Once your dough has chilled in the fridge, it'll be quite firm. I'm just gonna cut mine to get the shape started. Always easy to roll and work with when it's chilled. I feel like this is almost the shape that I want. I could eat cake pop dough like this. It is incredibly delicious. Start with your ball and then you can just kind of squish it out and just taper it on either side to get that lovely overly shape. I don't want to say they have football-like heads, but they have football-like heads. Something like this guy, like an egg. I'm gonna put those ones back off into the fridge for about 10 minutes. You don't want them super cold, but you do want them chilling out. Our trolls are chilling out. I chose to use white candy melts and colour them with a little pink and a little blue because I want different shades of pink and I didn't want to have to get a ton of different colours. So I'm going to start super light and then add more and more colour as I get to the details on each of my trolls to get those variations of pink and blue. M&Ms. got to cut them in half. Probably going to break a few. You have to eat those ones. It's tough. Is there any safe way to cut an M&M? Oh, that is perfect. That never happens. All right. I'm the M&M cutting master. Can I replicate that perfect cut? No. Uh, what is a shame? That is a real shame. So you're gonna have to cut a few, eat a couple, cut a few, but you need two halves of an M&M. And then I'm gonna take them, dip them into a tiny bit of chocolate and pop them in the sides of my cake pop balls to make troll ears. Cause they kind of have those cute little sticky out ears. By the way, these are the only kind of trolls that we should have on the internet, just saying. Right, once you've got all your little ears in, just give them their own personal space on the parchment. Trolls like personal space. Some trolls. And then I'm going to take a cake pop stick. I'm going to dip it about a centimetre into my candy melts and push it up into my troll's head. This is a good opportunity to put your little decorative straws on. So I like to slide it up the cake pop stick while my little seals are still wet. And that way the chocolate seal will affix my straw in place. Those guys can go off into the fridge for about 20 minutes. You want them to be firm to touch, but not rock hard before we dip. If they're too cold, they'll crack. If they're not cold enough, they'll fall off. So 20 minutes is about perfect. Our little trolls are set. I've got a little cake pop stand that I just made using a polystyrene block. I actually showed you guys how to make this on Facebook Live. So if you don't follow me there, there are tons of just fun little things that I do live as I'm making them in preparation for these videos. I will leave a link down below. I printed out this pattern and this pattern on a little bit of sticky paper and then just stuck it onto a polystyrene block that I actually left wrapped in plastic. So I'll rip that sticky paper off when I'm done and I'll use it for something else. Multiple uses. So I've got my little block ready to dry my little cake pops and I have my two different colours of my candy melts. So I want my blue guy branch to have a blue straw. So I'm going to dip. I'm going to tip a dip and tip. And then I'm just going to pull any excess off and then give them a nice little tap. Dip, tip and tap. Particularly tap so that the ears are facing upwards, just because that way you'll get a really nice definition between little troll's ears and the head. Just going to run my finger around just to get a nice neat finish. And then off into my cake pop stand is there. Poppy will be pink, of course. Dip, tip, and tap. And continue until all of your trolls are dipped, tipped, and tapped, and then we'll decorate. I decided last minute to add in a little bit of like an aquary tealy green color because Harper has rainbow hair, so of course she's gonna be my favorite troll because I love a good rainbow. So I'm just adding 
a third color into the mix, which you guys can use or not use. Make whichever of the little troll characters you like. Make your favorites. I'm gonna show you a bit of a different hair technique for Harper 2 that I think you guys are really gonna like. So for my pink and my blue, I'm gonna add a fair bit more of that candy coloring to my white candy melts to make a super dark pink, which is gonna be for Poppy's hair. And then I added a fair bit more of the blue candy coloring and also a tiny bit of that black candy melt. Melt like three or four melts and just add it into eye, but you kind of want like this dark blue gray color. I played with a couple of different ways to get hair on your trolls and I'm actually gonna show you two. But the one that's the longest lasting and that's not gonna melt is a kiss. I know, we're kissing our trolls. We have a Hershey's kiss. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that darker pink, put a little dollop on the back of one of my Hershey's. It kind of just looks delicious. And I'm gonna put that on top of Poppy. One of my blue ones on top of Branch. And Harper stays bald, for now anyway. She gets the best hair, it just takes longer to come through. But things are worth waiting for. I'm gonna put my darker colored candy melts into a snap seal bag and snip off a really fine tip. And then I'm just gonna coat over the top of my Hershey's in little sort of lines. You want this to look like the textured effect of hair, but it's actually gonna be a solid block of delicious Hershey's chocolate on the inside. Branch gets kind of a normal masculine hairline and Poppy gets a fringe cause she's a little more stylish. I also used the darker colorings to put on noses and mouths and I used a combination of leftover white candy melts, a little of those pink and blue candy melts and the black to add on the eye details, just using a toothpick or the end of a cake pop stick. Do the same with Harper, but she wants one green eye and one pink eye. I'm not sure why that is. I'll see the movie and I'll find out. Finally, as an optional extra, Poppy's kind of stylish, I decided to add just a little bit of the green as a bit of a flower crown with some little blue flowers, but you guys can decide which of the scenes from the movie you liked most and how you want to dress your little trolls up. I've sized up some templates and I'll leave a link to those down below. Just cut around them and then attach them to your straws or cake pop sticks with a little bit of tape to make the bodies. Harper's hair is going to be candy floss. We call it fairy floss in Australia because they say that it's thin enough that fairies can use it as dental floss, which I think is kind of cute. I bought pre-packaged rainbow fairy floss and you wanna do this right before you're about to serve your little cake pops. Take the fairy floss and try to touch it as little as possible and find a bit that has all four colors of the rainbow. Put a little bit of a green candy melt on her head, pull them together to resemble troll hair and stick them straight down onto the candy melt and then just use a zip seal bag to go around the outside edges so that you're kind of joining the hair and Harper's head together so it doesn't look so stuck on. Those are your three adorable trolls cake pops. I'm in love with the candy floss hair. I know it's a little much, but I like a little much. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do for new videos every week. And as always, thanks very much for watching. Do trolls really live under a bridge? <laughs>